So far, we've received between 5 and 10 inches of snow around the Chicago area. And as Tammy showed us, we're not done yet. And really, areas favored east of I-55 and to the south, that's where we're finding those 8, 9, 10-inch totals. And we still have more snow happening. So I want to share with you the top totals that so far have come in from official storm spotters. East Brooklyn, that's in Grundy County, 10.1 inches of snow. Straight up at 10 inches in Linwood. New Lenox and Bradley. Bradley's in Kankakee County, nine and a half inches. Carbon Hill, just over nine. Oak Lawn, impressive, 8.5. And even in Lakeview, seven inches of snow. So we still are going to be dealing with more snow. And Tammy mentioned also that lake effect uh, enhancement during the day tomorrow. We also have been watching that drier Arctic air kind of intruding across the Wisconsin line. That's going to cut down snow totals here from Lake Zurich to Elgin to St. Charles. Minor amounts expected there, but get closer to the lake. And when you add to that those lake enhanced plumes tonight and tomorrow, we could see another three to maybe six inches of snow, whiting another 4.8 on top of what you've already received and even leading into northwest Indiana, five, six, seven additional inches certainly possible. The potential is there because our system snow today is really favoring areas to the south. South of the Kankakee River Valley where we have a six and seven inch forecast still on tap because that's where the best moisture content is with this storm as that all rolls through and then we're adding to that the lake effect for tomorrow. So that's why we still have the winter storm warning in effect for Chicago because we're not done just yet and Jim it's so hard to get around today. You have snow covered roads near zero visibility and snow still falling.